Hey beauties and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now and share this video with any friends who love unicorns or want to be a unicorn for Halloween. Today's unicorn look is inspired by the unicorns from the movie Legend. I have mentioned this movie so many times on my channel and I just love it so much. It's one of the only movies to actually feature unicorns. They are so beautiful in this movie, they're magical and pure, and who wouldn't want to look like one? So today I'm going to show you guys how to turn into a majestic, angelic, and magical unicorn. If you'd like to turn into one with me, then just keep on watching. So the first thing you're going to want to do is prime your skin to protect it and keep it hydrated because we're going to be painting ourselves today and we're going to be working with a lot of powders. For the white base, we are using the Mayron Paradise Paint in White. This was my most used color this Halloween, and I recommend it to all of you out there looking to create really magical, angelic looks. This is perfect for that, so I'm gonna coat my entire face and body with this, also my eyelids, until I've reached a pretty even layer. You can also use a damp beauty sponge to blend out any lines or anything like that. For brows, we're going to do something metallic and silver, so I'm using the Mayron Paradise Paint Palette and I'm taking the silver shade to fill my brows in with. I just used enough water to keep the consistency similar to a dip brow pomade, and I filled them in how I normally would fill in my brows. And for the extra sparkle, I used the NYX Cosmetics Face and Body Glitter in silver, and I just tapped this right into the brows until they were super sparkly. For the eye look, I wanted something that looked like a horse's eye, so I created a nice big shape using a black eyeshadow on an angled brush, and I first outlined the bottom of my eye, creating a shape that shoots outward and then dips down into the tear duct area. Taking the same black shadow, I created a cat eye cut crease shape by closing in the outer V and also lining my crease. I made sure to cut the crease all the way into the tear duct area. With a gray shadow from the Morphe 35K palette, I'm going to start smoking out the line I created. Taking a darker gray black, I'm going to start packing this color under the brow area. Taking a shimmery white, I'm going to apply this to the brow bone area for a nice highlight. Using NYX's Jumbo Pencil and Milk, I'm going to create a new waterline by aligning my eyes with this and also going below my natural waterline. I then set that area with a matte white as well as the lid space. Now you can go back in with the black and define anything that may have gotten lost in the white shadow. Taking a small brush, I'm going to go in and smoke out the lines we created, but only on the lower lash line area. Taking NYX's Space and Body Glitter in Silver, I'm going to pack this into the tear duct area we mapped out, and I'm also going to place some rhinestones on the tear duct area and also on the brow bone. For lashes, I'm using the Coco Lashes in the Style Goddess. And this is the final eye look. For the contour, I'm using Airbrush because I wanted this to be very soft and very seamless, but you can also use a brush but with a very light shade of blue and just contour your forehead, cheeks, and under the jawline. I suggest using the lightest shade of blue first and then deepening as you go to create the same effect that I am getting with the airbrush machine. I then started placing some stones around my face sporadically and I just placed them down first to see what they would look like in a certain area and if I liked it I just went right in with the adhesive and stuck them right onto my face. I placed them onto my forehead and also my cheeks and I added in small details like rhinestones and a little bit of iridescent confetti. Next, I took the NYX Face and Body Glitter in Silver on a big brush, and I just dusted this all around my face. If you're going to a Halloween party, this will look really beautiful and shimmery, and something that I really like to use a lot when creating fantasy looks. For lips, I used the Ofra Cosmetics Dual Chrome Liquid Lipstick in Utopia, and I just applied this right onto the lips, and later I'm going to apply something a little bit more pink. Next, you're going to want to paint your body with the water-activated paint, and here I'm using the Mayron Paradise Paint in White. This is the same one we used on the face, and I'm just coating my neck and also my body. I went back in with Hollywood Liquid Lipstick by Ofra Cosmetics, and this one is a little bit more pink than the one I was using before. And while it's still drying, I went over the top with NYX's Face and Body Glitter in Silver. 
For the body, I did airbrush a little bit, but I went back in with something that would show up more. So I used the NYX Avant Pop Palette, and I took the very bright blue in this palette and packed this underneath the neck area. And I also brought this along my shoulders, my hands, and my chest for a beautiful blue contour. Next, I popped on some really beautiful light blue contacts, and then I started to put on my wig. I wanted to wear a white wig similar to a unicorn's mane, and I really think that the white wig makes the costume so much better. It just adds so much to it, and I really, really loved it. And next, I put on my unicorn horn, and this just ties to the back. I actually glittered up this horn and added some fabric to make it look even better than it already did. There were these cute little ears I found at Spirit of Halloween and I got them and added a flower crown to them and it made them so much cuter and at this point I was awing at myself because this was just coming out so cute and I loved how it looked. I definitely think the ears and the flower crown make it a billion times cuter and really completed the look. Alright beauties, this is my final magical unicorn look. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe and help me get my name out there this Halloween by sharing this with all of your unicorn friends. Thank you all for watching today and I will see you all in my next tutorial.